Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 2nd of 2020, well, it is titled Venus and the Pleiades in April. So what do we see here? Well, this is an illustration showing what is coming up over the next couple of days. And if you look out around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time uh, for the uh, United States, you will see the planet Venus. And Venus is very prominent in the evening sky right now, very bright object uh, shortly after sunset, prominent in the sky. And what we see here is the track that Venus will be taking over the next few days. So it's labeled where it will be or where it was on March 31st and April 1st, where it will be tonight and April 2nd, it is just moving into the range of the Pleiades. So the Pleiades is a great open star cluster in the constellation of Taurus. And tomorrow, April 3rd, it will actually have an extra star there. Now that star will be the planet Venus, and you can see where Venus will be on April 3rd. So if you want a chance to get out at night and look at the sky, you can see Pleiades star cluster is easily visible to the naked eye as a small grouping of stars. Uh, you won't see as much detail as he you see here, although with a pair of binoculars, you would be able to see something much like this. And then, of course, after April 3rd, April 4th, 5th, and 6th, Venus will continue its motion uh, through the sky, and will which will carry it away from the Pleiades. But a chance tonight, uh, tomorrow, and the following night to be able to see Venus very, very close to the Pleiades star cluster, and especially tomorrow night, where it will actually be in the middle of that. Now, the, the planets move through the stars, and that is because the planets are part of our own solar system and they are moving. They are much closer to us. So as they orbit the sun, they seem to take paths through the sky as well. So that is one of the ways that planets were originally discovered in ancient times was that they seemed to wander through the sky. So you could watch their positioning over the course of just a few nights here in the case of Venus and see that their patterns changed. The patterns of the stars would remain the same. So you could look at constellations, things like Orion or Taurus, and they would remain the same. You would see them the same from day to day and year to year. Uh, but the planets would wander among those. So the five wandering stars or planets that were known to the ancient astronomers were Mercury, Venus, er, uh, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Not Earth, not being known as a planet at that, at that point. And the other two planets, Uranus and Neptune, had not yet been discovered. So this kind of wandering is how ancient astronomers got the idea of there being uh, different types of objects in the sky and that these five special objects were very important. Now we also note that this happens about every eight years. Eight years ago, Venus passed through the Pleiades and it will do it again eight years from now. Now, why does it happen every eight years? Well, if we figure out uh, the orbits of the planets, 13 years for Venus is about equal to eight years on Earth. So when, when Venus has orbited the sun 13 times, Earth has done it eight, and everything is back into about the same position. So about every eight years, Venus will do something like this. So if you miss it today, you're going to have to wait till around 2028 to be able to see this event occur again. So that was our picture of the day for April the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Venus and the Pleiades in April. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.